that actually when it, when it comes to the debate around the papacy, it's a lot harder than a lot of people will lead you to believe it. It, is, it isn't just, you know, kind of sit down and point. Jerome said this, Augustine said this, okay, now, now we're kind of done papacy proved, you know, repent and come back Orthodox and Protestants or whatever. But per personally, um, I, I absolutely think that something like the Filioque is, is that thing, which is very easy. Yes. Yes. Of course you have the late Byzantine uh, difficulties uh, from some of the late patristic uh, theologians, but I really think just like a fair reading of the Latin fathers and the early Byzantine fathers and scripture and then theological reasoning that the Latins, you know, just kind of come on top uh, in, in all of those, uh, in all of those ways. But I, I, I just don't feel like that with the papacy. And, and maybe it is because I'm personally, I am not as uh, well studied in ecclesiology as uh, most most people do expect from, you know, the YouTube personalities. If you're going to talk about stuff, you just talk about the papacy ad nauseum until, you know, every right. uh, you, you have you have these. It, it, it is really uh, I, I guess I'm going on my tangent right now. Um but it, it is really like on the ground level when I do talk to people, all they want to talk about is the papacy. And I'm like, you know, you can, you can talk about random like ninth century papal debates till the, your face is blue, but you can't name the cardinal virtues. It's, it's like, come on, man. <laughs> There's other stuff to talk about within Catholicism. But uh, it, since, you've, since you have been somebody who has uh, studied multiple different issues of, of uh, dispute between the Orthodox and, and Catholics, what, what do you think? is that issue which is more clear and then what do you think is the one which is uh actually less clear uh yeah you know it all it all depends on what front you're facing so uh i would say some, depending on the orthodox parish you go to talking you know talking on boots on the ground here um the reaction towards original sin and mm. satisfaction atonement that was one of the first alarms mm -hmm. that that would go off for me uh, as I talked to, you know, not just lay people, but prominent Orthodox, uh, even non-American um, scholars. Um, but aside from that, historically, I do think that the, 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 the debate really comes historically to the issue of the, the material in Holy Mass, you know, the Ezimes, and the procession of the Holy Spirit. I mean, those are the two things that uh, when the Byzantines were, were training up their guys to debate the Latins, that's what they had them focus on, was the issue of Ezimes and the issue of the procession. Um, and the issue of the papacy really was not front and center um, in the you know, 12th, 13th, 14th century, uh, it was this issue of the, whether they have a valid mass and uh, they basically put a grenade into the Trinitarian theology of the fathers. That's what they understood the Latins were doing. So if, if the, if the, if the, orth, if the Greeks were wrong about their essential opposition towards the filioque, uh, and it could be clearly shown um, just, you know, just the sheer uh, preponderance of the evidence. Um, then I think that comes out to be the clearest uh, mm. defeater. And and that's what it is. It, it, in my opinion, I think that's what it is. It's it's there's just so much preponderance from the fathers uh, on the procession of the Holy Spirit, not just as a not just as a doctrine that stands on the other end of metaphysical speculation, but something that's required to understand the Bible. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, and so that, you know, we're going back to, to our, to the gospels. Mm -hmm. And so that's, that, that would be my biggest barrier to orthodoxy is that the papacy, I agree with you, is more difficult. You know, I, a lot, lots of people get upset with me when I say this, it, it, it is not the easiest thing to overcome. Yes, there's a lot of evidence for the papacy, don't get me wrong, but there are a couple of instances where we get close, we get close to having our position just rot out in the sun. There's a couple mm -hmm. of things in history that uh, come close to that. I don't think that it gets to that. 
but it, it's not as easy to discern the matter. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, with the procession, I think, we're, I mean, we're just going, you could just start flipping pages and pages and pages of clear evidence. Yeah, exactly. And even, even with the, I think, the most significant difficulties that are posed against the Latins on the procession of the spirit, I think those are basically papal issues because it's like whether the Pope can include the filioque in the creed. Well, that's not a debate over the filioque. That's a debate over the papacy right there, which yeah. is why when, when I am talking with Orthodox, they try to bring that aspect up. They try to bring up the the, the proofs from Pope John. They, they, they try they try to bring up all of these uh, evidences. It's like, well, that, that's a papacy question. We're not discussing the papacy right now. We're discussing the filioque. Uh, this is only like indirectly connected to the to the truth of the filioque.